fish smart and welcome back to Spartan Tackle Fishing. You guys, today's episode is the Shark Fishing Secrets of Matagorda, Texas. And let me explain what I mean by secrets. Now, what I mean by secrets is I want YouTube to pick up this video, so I'm using the word secret. But the reality is, is what I'm gonna give you guys is basically a rundown of what I believe is general basic knowledge for any land-based shark fisherman. So I want to equip you with what I believe should be the absolute minimum standard for every shark fishing angler. Here's the thing guys, the real secrets though, which I have, the real secrets, you guys gotta earn them. Like we did and my crew, we're always earning our secrets and those you will never get. But right now you guys just sit tight, we're gonna take you, uh, you know, through a ride on exactly how we fish Matagorda, what we're doing, how we do it. So sit tight, enjoy the ride. Okay guys, so step number one is you gotta find an area to fish. Now again, this is Matagorda, Texas, so we do things a little bit differently in Texas, the best state of land-based shark fishermen, just saying. So basically, we're gonna try to find a spot down Matagorda where it's away from people, and also there's a bit more cutoffs and breakoffs in Matagorda, so I'm gonna be combing the beach for trash. And also, you're gonna wanna watch for the tide line. The way you know where the tide's at and how high it will raise, is wherever the discoloration of sand is normally. So wherever the sand goes from wet to dry is where you wanna park above, okay? So we're gonna go down now. You probably only need to go down a couple miles. This whole stretch of beach is good to fish. You just have to get out here and fish and fish clean and do a good job. But we're gonna look for a spot away from people, as little trash as possible and enough beach to where if it is, uh, the tide does go all the way up, we still have enough room to fish. So sit tight guys, we're gonna go find a spot right now. All right guys, so we went down Matagorda maybe about three miles, four miles. There is no one around, but it's a little bit tricky because the sand is wet. I think it's rain, uh, rained recently, so it's a little bit hard to tell where the tide line is. So what we did is, let me show you, we basically, parked you see all that trash all this trash right here all that that's just probably where that tide line is so that's where we parked see that all right now uh as you guys can see there's also no one around so we kind of parked a little bit in to the tide line so not right outside of it a little bit in and the reason is driving etiquette so make sure not to park too far up where the tide line is because you're gonna really frustrate a lot of people. Now this weekend, there's not a lot of traffic. So next move is basically we're gonna set up cab, unpack everything, and we're gonna come back to you uh, to tie the leaders up, run the bait out, sit tight. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is tie the leaders uh, to the mono. All I'm using, I know it's Matagorda, I'm just using a 150 pound top shot. Underneath that is either 150 pound braid or 200 pound hollow uh, braid as well. But I'm just gonna do a double clinch knot. I'm gonna show you guys that right now and just do the best I can on 150 pound mono, okay? So basically I'm just doubling the line up, right? So double it up, put it through the swivel, the leader, okay? Like this, see, just doubled it up, pretty simple, you ready, there you go. So essentially I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in my mouth to keep all this straight and I'm gonna wrap this six times before I clinch it down, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? See that? See that? Then I'm gonna go through where my finger is, right here. Right? And back through here. Like that. Now before I uh, cinch this down, I'm gonna wet it a little bit. 
okay? And then just cinch that down. Now I'm just gonna do that for all three of them. But before I do, I'm gonna take where it's doubled up like this and I'm gonna make a little safety knot right here, okay? And then just pull that. So that's a little safety knot and then I'll cut, cut off all the ends right there. I'll cut all three ends off. And we're good, that should hold. Sit tight for the bait rigging. Farewell and adieu. To your Spanish ladies. Okay guys, so normally when I fish, I'm running four lines out right away. Because it's Matagorda in the fall, uh, I'm gonna run only about three lines out because I don't wanna get cut off right away. So I'm gonna kinda ease into it. Now what we have here is cow nose ray. So I'm gonna bait up uh, four setups with the cow nose, but I'm only gonna run three. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go right down the middle, as always, right down the middle, hook through the eye, through the eye, okay, uh, four baits total. And I'm running small baits because it's Texas and Matagorda in the fall, and usually the sharks are pretty small out here. Okay, so there's one. This right in half also. Really, you just gotta get through the jaw. When you get through the jaw, it cuts like butter. Now obviously I like using the hacksaw. Works really good, especially if it's frozen. Really good if it's frozen. So here's how I'm gonna hook it. So remember, this is a 20 out. Now I'm using basically two Texans and two Morocco leaders because again, I don't wanna lose my gear. All right, so through the eye, Donnie just got here like this. To the eye here, see? Like this, and just keep going like that. It's a really good place to hook it. All right guys, stay tuned for some kayaking. See you later. Okay guys, it is kayaking time now. I'm gonna show you how I put the bait on the kayak and uh, I'm gonna show you how I get the bait off of the kayak because you want your weight to stick. So I'm using uh, the Texan here. It's all basically 400 pound, 500 pound stuff with a copper weight, check it out. There is the ray right there. So I'm just gonna put that right there and the weight. I'm gonna put on this side because I want it, I'm going into the current. So I want it to pull me into the current, okay? Now, here's, here's what's really important. The first line, always drop your first line into the current. So if the current is going this way, kayak into it, okay? So always drop your first line into the current and then your next line and your next line, your next line. So I'll have another video specifically on kayaking but you always want to go in the current. I'll explain why in another video. No was made for the ground fleet to anchor all in the downs that night for to lay. It's stand by a stop as let go, you shank painter. Haul up your glue gun, it's let fly tax and sheets. We'll rant and we'll roar. Like true British sailors will rant and will roar Like true hearts of All right guys, so when you deploy, always remember, bend your leg back. Okay, so I bent that back. Now, I'm gonna drop this weight, let it slide down. Okay, hits the bottom, work my way up the leader. Here's the bait, I'm gonna throw that away. There it goes. All right guys, so there's your bait deployment. Probably out here, I don't know, 250 yards. Not too much. Anyways, so next part of the episode, we'll hopefully be catching, hopefully we'll be more learning. Thank you guys, see you soon. Is a good hell to all true hearty souls. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll roar like true hearts of oak until we Okay, we're fishing now. We got all three lines out. We're probably gonna take one more line out or two more lines as long as we don't get any cutoffs or breakups here soon. But take a look at what we got out. All 80s. All 80s. 80, 80, 80. 
each of them with 150 pound mono to 200 pound Jerry Brown hollow core because we like to splice. Anyways, guys, hopefully uh, next up is some setting hook, some runs, shark leadering, tagging, all that type of stuff. Stay tuned. I don't know, Julian started yelling at me. I'm not sure what he has. What's going on, bro? What you got going on? Oh, I'm good, dude. Yeah? Nice little tough stroke bro. Nice, bro. You hooked up, huh? A little bitty circle hook, though, so. Be easy, huh? You think it is? I bet you it's a red. I think it might be a red. Ooh, if it's a red, that's beautiful. Nice, dude. Fighting weird. All right, Tom. Show him that finesse game, bro. Yeah, bro. Gotta wait it out. It's a big fish and a little bit of something like a whiting circle here. Yeah. That's a really good sign. All right, still hooked up to that ray. Trying to get that fresh shark bait. If we get fresh shark bait, we'll probably run it out right away. Let's go check in on Julian. It's, he's about 20 minutes in now, finesse fishing. How you doing, Julian? How you doing, bro? freaking whale on here, man. I don't know why it's taking so long. He's getting right in. He's out here for the last sandbar and he is just giving me absolute hell. So hopefully it's like a 40 pound ray, but it might just be like a 25 pound ray. We'll see. Bro, good job, man. How long did that take you? A good 30 minutes? My biceps are selling me Woo. three hours, but about 35 okay. minutes, man. All right, we're gonna get, make sure, Woo. hold on. You got me? We're gonna make sure to get this ray safe, so we're gonna cut off the barb right now. All right, now I know it can suck, but I'm actually, I'm reeling in right now to replace the cat nose. Now I can follow my line out in the kayak and replace it in the kayak, but I'm gonna choose to reel in and then cut some of that Southern we just caught and I'm gonna run that out. Fresh is always best. Hopefully we're gonna prove you that right now. It's a little bit so it's a little bit slow because it's fall and maybe, and there was a recent storm, but um, normally it's a lot more action. Anyways, guys, sit tight. <clears throat> All right, so there's my cut piece of Southern right here. That's super fresh. There's my cow nose, my old cow nose. Interesting. Garbage, way better. So I'm about, I'm fixing to kayak this out right now. That fresh Southern, that fresh Southern boy. Told you fresh Southern. Just slap right now, the small fish. As soon as it pulls, I'll set hook. This is coming in right now. Got him, got him. All right. Woo! Right here. Okay, so, I hop what we learned 
here. It's fresh is better, okay? Just remember that, guys. Fresh is better, okay? You call that a secret, call it whatever you want, but now you know. I was getting worried, man. It's just like 3.30. I was fixing to run a second Southern out. Actually, there, it's pulling. Yeah, boy, pull, pull, pull. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere, though. I stopped him. He ain't pulling on me. But um, normally I'd fight it out of the harness, but I just got to get one for you guys real quick and then move on. But this one, look, I just reeled that in. So I was already up here, so I just reeled that in. Now I'm gonna run two out at once. Maybe get one more fish for the episode. But what we're gonna do next is the leadering, tagging, DNA clip, and de-hooking. And then we're gonna end the episode. I really appreciate you guys. Sit tight, the fish. All right, you guys, you saw that, that's a chipper. So what I'm gonna do is quickly take a DNA sample, de-hook, and put a tag in measurement and send it back, all right? Hold on, let me get my phone. Hook came out, look at that, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's why you keep pressure. I gotta get this fish back, I gotta get this fish back. Okay, I cut a little hole so I could slip that tag in there. <sighs> Got it. I'm gonna take a DNA clip right here. You got me, bro? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Measurement real quick. Farewell and adieu to your Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to your ladies of Spain. For we've received orders to sail for old England. But we hope in a short time to see you again. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll roar like true hides of oak. Until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From Ushant to City is 35 leagues. All right, guys, as you saw that, the fresh bait persevered. I'm kind of glad we went through that struggle. I kind of got spoiled with that count, the burnt countles. I'm just used to catching fish after fish, but as you saw, fresh bait is always best. So now what I'm gonna do is run out two more Southerns, hopefully bring you guys some more angling, but we are in the sharks now, y'all. Sit tight, if not, we'll check out a little bit later. See you guys. And up channel stand we. We'll run and we'll roar. Like true British sailors will rant and will roar Like true hearts Shark hookup number two on the fresh southern ray Check it out What's up Julian? Woo woo! Yes sir, yes sir! Okay now hopefully this time we'll be able to show you de-hooking The other hook came through or, uh, or uh, it fell out before I got down there But Julian's hooked up now as you guys saw, fresh Southern Ray, second shark, and I just kayaked two fresh. So hopefully we'll be in some more fish, but that was awesome. This shark is probably a tipper. All right, guys, now before I go down there to leader this fish, let me tell you what I'm gonna do, okay? So the way I'm gonna leader it is, I'm not gonna touch the main line, and I'm not gonna put too much pressure on the leader. Now we have um, barbs on our hook, so I feel comfortable grabbing the leader with my hand. Now once I grab the leader, I'm gonna try to go in sideways. Not putting too much pressure on the fish because I don't want it to pull. Now, once I pull it sideways, I'm going to try to uh, pull that fish up with the buoyancy of the wave. So I'm going to try to pull it into the waves, okay? So I'm going to go down there and do that right now. 
and then I'm gonna jump on it, de-hook it, same thing as, as we always do, except this one I can't turn into the rodeo because Julian landed it. But other than that, y'all just sit tight, watch how we're doing this, and stay tuned. Okay, here's the leader. I'm gonna go sideways with the wave, like that. I just pulled it over the bar. <clears throat> on the rattles. As you guys know, with me, I'm always coming up from behind the shark, hitting the barb out with the back of this, and then reaching, pulling it out. Let's see that now. Boom, boom. See that? See how easy that is? Stay tuned. All right. I'm trying to give you guys education. Always remember, fish smart. Let every man toss off a full bumper. Let every man toss off a full bowl. For a drink can be merry and drowned. All right, you guys, there you go. That's the secrets of Matagorda. Do your boy a favor, give me 60 likes for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys learned a bunch of stuff. Last thing, now next week I'm gonna be dropping an episode about fishing at night. Do me a favor, watch that episode. My boy thinks it's gonna tank. He's told me that I cannot film during night, so I'm gonna go all out on this night episode. Either way, guys, I really hope you guys learned some stuff. Fish smart, help some other people, and always keep your camp clean. Clean up all your trash. And visit our website, check out some leaders. Till next time, you guys. See ya. Spawn tackle fishing, baby. Don't forget.